Hey guys, it's Nathaniel again, and today we're going to take a look at a 2001 Sea Ray 310. Um, this boat has been very well cared for. Uh, has a new bimini, some new cushions. Uh, the engines were recently rebuilt, and um, yeah, she's in nice overall condition. Uh, let's go take a look. All right. Okay, here she is. 2001 Sea Ray 310. Been on a lot of boats by Sea Ray from this era, and honestly, this boat as a 310 is nearly as spacious inside and out as a Sea Ray 340. Uh, but take a look new bimini up top, um, and that's the uh, upgraded fabric uh, I forget the name of it. Um, also, a new windshield, right? Which is Macrolon, not windshield. So, there's the glass windshield, right? And then that 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 windshield up there that's the Macrolon. Uh, so a hard polycarbonate um, that ages very well and stays nice and clear uh, versus your traditional isinglass, which tends to uh, cloud up. Uh, let's walk on over here. Um, she does have the uh, bow cushion uh, between these two rails. It's in great condition. I just pulled that out from down below. Um, the anchor has a nice plow anchor and um, the... Uh, the spotlight does function properly, and then we have a Lofrens uh, Progress 1 windlass with up and down controls. Um, the stainless on this boat is in great shape. Looks like it's been, you know, washed down regularly. Um, and nice new dock lines on this thing, too. All right, let's walk a little bit back. Look at that. See right. All right, let's walk on board. There it is, Sea Ray 310 Sundancer. Here's VHF antenna. And we'll board here at the aft swim step. Name of the boat currently Free Spirit, uh, Virginia Beach. Uh, the boat was in Virginia Beach, and a lot of its life was kept out of the water. Uh, owner brought it here just just recently, in the last couple of years, and. Um, this last summer had new cushions made for it. Built-in swim step back here. Easy access uh, through the transom. Large engine access area underneath here. That whole seat uh, you, can, you can fold up, remove. Um, and it's an electric lift for that. Right. Now, here's the cockpit. Um, up above me, you can see this new new bimini, really nice shape. Um, it has the windshield. Um, it, the owner does not have, we have the possibility, right? The, the um, zippers are built in already. So you could do a full camper closure on this, uh, but the owner does not currently have any isinglass or closure material for these back. You'd have three panels back here probably. Uh, we don't have that. Uh, but, because you got the zippers, you could add it on easily. Uh, nice big table back here uh, for dining. And here is your driving area. There we go. There's your helm. All right. So, nice simple helm. Uh, this is a newer wheel. Um, right, and these are your controls. This is your throttle. This is your shifter. Um, we do have VHF here, original, as well as uh, the original radar. And here's the original uh, GPS, tri data, and, and so that's what we have. The electronics on this boat, the GPS and the radar, are original, are not currently functional, and um, it's it would be time for an upgrade anyways, either, even if they were. You'll also notice on this dash that the uh, the buttons are in okay shape, uh, but the the board back here is, is toast, right? It was that faux wood finish, and uh, they've just seen a little bit too much UV. Um, these are available, though. 
Uh, pretty simple replacement. You can see they're just attached with screws. So that is a little do-it-yourself project you could do. Um, these things cost a couple hundred bucks. I'll put a little link in the YouTube uh, description um, about where you can get those. And then you can choose your own. They come in like gray and black and faux wood. Um, and you can get larger ones over here. So to cover up in an existing hole, maybe you just want to do, um, uh, you know, an iPad or something similar to that. Uh, for your GPS, uh, you can just put a mount, or you can get a new multifunction display and radar and all of that, and uh, spend a spend a little bit more money on that. But anyways, this is your helm on the Sea Ray 310. There's your compass up there, and of course you have your gauges, fuel, battery, uh, uh, voltage, uh, engine temperature oil pressure, RPMs, uh, rudder indicator, uh, actually it's a sink indicator, and then and then the same on the starboard side as well. Alright, um, cushions on here are, are in good shape. Now these ones are a little older, so we had new cushions down there made, and a new backer there, um, but these, these, these helm seats are, are a little older. Not in as nice shape, but still in good serviceable condition. Um, this is a new one back here. Uh, anyways, and then you have a um, little wet bar. What's in here? Just a little place to put stuff, maybe trash bag. Over here, I can open this up and, and just a little storage area for life jackets and whatnot. More storage below here, and hard to do that with one hand. Let's see what we got over here too, and then some storage over here, currently used for cleaning supplies and fire extinguishers, and then some more storage underneath this helm seat or companion seat. All right, let's check out down below. One two, three, nice gradual steps to get down in the salon. And here we have a very well laid out, nice compact living area, sleeping area, that is um, easily separated by curtains. Check out a curtain here, another curtain here. So these come over on a track. So you have your private berth there. And uh, this, this berth has seen very little use. Um, the upholstery is in fantastic condition. Um, and you can see it all the way around here. Cushions are very, very nice. Um, and, and then as we look back, you'll see our dinette, uh, which you can drop down. Uh, to make into a, a double berth. All of this cabinetry here is storage. Right. For your first aid kit, there's the stereo, a Clarion with CD changer. There's another. And then over here are your electrical panels. All right. So on the left, is your 12 volt DC panel on the right 12 volt AC panel and then in the back here right call this a mid berth um, it, it really is a nice seating area and then those extra cushions there um, help it become actually those extra cushions are for the uh, the salon, those two there, and then there's various extra cushions that you use to fill in here. It's those two long ones in the back um, to create another double back here. And so, a lot of sleeping possibilities here. You could sleep six down below, and then uh, you could throw a couple up in the cockpit if you needed to. The weather was nice, but here's a little view down below here. Uh, you see a vent there, that's because the boat has a reverse cycle air conditioning and heat. 
Um, I don't know if you could tell in this video, but this interior upholstery is just in fantastic shape. Uh, I think she's seen very, very light use or just very great care and um, really, really nice shape. Uh, these are often broken on these sea rays. They're just a, like an accordion type door and um, these all work properly. Um, you also have access here, get a little, a little ventilation uh, from the the helm from outdoors back here if you're going to sleep back here that would be nice and yeah it's a good space and i can sit up here uh, in this mid berth and my head my head tops it if i sit up straight but as a seating area maybe i don't know if i'd dine here you got such a nice uh, salon table over here we have a 32 inch flat screen LG TV. Uh, so, got a little entertainment possibility there. Um, on all of the hatches, um, you have these, these options too. So it can be a vent or a shade, or you can open it all the way up and open up the vent itself. These are all functional, which is very rare. These sometimes break as they age but honestly, I think they look newer. I think you might have redone those. Um, here we have a hanging closet up at the V-berth. I'm sorry, hanging locker. Um, there was a TV. So in this era, they had the old CRTs. Uh, right now, they just got an espresso in there and it's a, it's a good use of space. It looks tight and it's in the right spot, right next to the galley. Uh, some controls there for the TV. And down below, you have a place to put some, uh, I'd, I'd maybe put my documentation and stuff in there. Very, very clean and tidy boat. Uh, single sink with hot and cold water. Here's the range, two burner electric. Little microwave, turntable. And up here is the control for the heating and air conditioning. And then we got more room in here for whatever you like. Some more storage back here as well. A lot of useful space on this boat. Down below, pull out the, the lock on it, but here's the refrigerator. Plenty of room in there. so it can come open while you're underway. And three drawers down here for silverware, plates, all that stuff, and you've got room as well. Uh, below the sink for whatever you want to put down there. Cleaning supplies, maybe. Down here, built-in trash can. Having a tree for clothes or underpants. And down here, um, you have a larger bin for various. Now, there's also storage, of course, underneath these benches. And back here, uh, in between, there we have another hanging locker next to the mid berth. And you can see these curtains come over on either side. Now here we go back to the head. The head to port includes a vacuum flush toilet, sink with hose that pulls out, right, then attaches up here so you can clean your body and um, and then as well, we have some storage for toiletries back here behind the toilet. And as well, below the sink. Very nice, very clean boat. I am 
impressed by the cleanliness and the upkeep that this owner has done with this boat. All right, thanks for taking a look with me at this Sea Ray 310 from 2001. Uh, the boat's really in fantastic condition uh, for its age. Um, very few flaws, uh, but it does need some new electronics, a little bit of cosmetic work in the cockpit. Um, please give me a call at 619-313-3664 if you're interested in this boat or in buying any other boats. Uh, especially down here in the San Diego area, but I can help buy a boat anywhere. And again, this is Nathaniel, signing off.